Back at it. Chem 110B, Chapter 9, Dilution Without Reaction. Hey, how do you know that there's no reaction? In this class, the problem doesn't show one, so that's nice. We are going to have some problems later in which a reaction is shown. It's a whole different setup, similar way of thinking about the problems. As long as you don't have a reaction written in, in our uh, prep chem class, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so remember, we're dealing with pages 149 and 150. Exercise 9G, this is the second six problems, 6 through 12. Setup is key, and please be careful with your sig figs as you move forward. You'd hate to do a lot of problems with all these beakers and all these calculations, and then mess it up at the end with sig figs. That would stink. Okay, so here's our problem. What are the ion concentrations in a solution made by mixing 2.1 liters of 0.65 molar sodium chloride with 3.2 liters of 1.12 molar sodium sulfate? That's a 2. All right, we got beakers. I like drawing beakers. 2.1 liters. 0.65 molar sodium chloride added to 3.2 liters of 1.12 molar sodium sulfate. What are the I concentrations at the end? 2.1 plus 3.2 liters adds up to 5.3 liters at the end. Okay, so that's easy enough. There's other things that are quite easy here if you are familiar with what's going on. You know that sodium chloride splits up into sodium ions and chloride ions, and that since it's a one-to-one -one ratio between them, the concentration of the sodium chloride and the sodium ions and the chloride ions are all the same. Right? If you have 12 heads, you have 12 noses. So the number of moles of sodium ions and the number of moles of chloride ions is the same as the number of moles of sodium chloride. When we look at the concentration of the sodium sulfate, there's two sodiums per every one sodium sulfate. So can you see that you can quickly calculate in your head that there are twice as many sodium ions floating around as there are sulfate ions. The quicker you can get to these concentrations by just looking at the problem, the better off you're going to be. It will really help you get through these problems quickly and that's going to be one of the issues, getting through the problems quickly. Okay, so what are the ions that we have here? We've got sodium ions. We've got chloride ions, and we've got sulfate ions, and we've got to figure out the concentration of each. So that means we need to figure out the moles of each that come from each beaker. And as we're keeping track here, Can you see just how systematic this is? This is the way all these problems get set up, the same way every time. Keeping track of the moles along the side, adding them up as you go. There's even more information that we can do just by a careful look at what we have here. If we have sodium ions and chloride ions in this beaker, we don't have any sulfate ions in that beaker. True? If we have just sodium ions and sulfate ions in this beaker, we don't have any chloride ions in that one. You see how being careful allows you to really understand exactly what's going on. So what do we have to figure out here? The moles of sodium ion in this beaker, the moles of sodium ion in this beaker, and then the chlorides and sulfates in each. Okay, so uh, let's see, that's A. And if you think about it for a second, if the concentration and the volume are the same, 
that value is going to be the same for both of these, right? B and then C. All right, so let's do our calculation. 0 0.65 moles of the sodium ion per 1 liter times 2.1 liters equals... Punching it in right along with you, and I get 1.365, 1 1.365, and to two sig figs, we're talking about 1.4 moles of sodium ion in the first beaker, which is equal to the 1.4 moles of chloride ion in the first beaker because it's the same concentration and the same volume. So 1.4 moles, 1.4 moles. Would you be more correct or keep from running into rounding errors if you used 1.365, but remember that it was two sig figs? Absolutely. But people have a tendency to miss this problem due to sig figs as much as anything, so I suggest going ahead and rounding to the right number of significant figures and then moving forward from there. Okay, B. We're going to figure out the sodium ions. Well, the concentration of sodium ion in that beaker is 2.24 moles per one liter. And we don't have one liter. We have 3.2 liters. So if we take 2.24 times 3.2, that's to 2 sig fig, 7.168, or 7.2 moles of sodium ion, but that's from the second beaker. See where the labeling is so important here? It's really important so that you don't mix things up. I'm telling you right now, I do not do it any other way. Otherwise, I would mix them up for sure. C, concentration of the sulfate ion in the second beaker times the volume in the second beaker. Four, but known to two sig figs, 3.6 moles of sulfate ion in the second beaker. Good. All right, so that comes right here. Man, whenever you're organized and you know where everything belongs, life gets pretty easy. Zero plus 3.6 is 3.6 moles of sulfate ion at the end. 1.4 plus 0 is 1.4 moles of chloride ion at the end. And now we have to add these two. Don't forget sig figs. 8.6 moles of the sodium ion because we had sodium ions from this beaker and sodium ions from this beaker. So they add together. That's the moles. We divide by the total volume at the end to get the concentration at the end. So this is the molarity of sodium ion, molarity of chloride, and molarity of sulfate. Let's calculate that out. All right. Without rounding, that's 0 0.6 eight molar sulfate ion. Your might be a little bit different in that last sig fig. No worries. 1.4 divided by 5.3 is 0 0.26 molar chloride ion at the end. And the concentration of the sodium ion is 8.6 divided by 5.3 or 1.6 molar sodium ion. 
Now, before you leave, please do that sanity check. Does it make sense? We start with 0 0.65 molar and more than completely half the concentration by equally diluting it with 2.1. We're over diluting it, so it should be less than half of 0.65 for the chloride ion, and it is. The sulfate was diluted by not quite half, so half of 1.12 would be, uh, what would it be? 1.12 divided by 2 is 0.56, so it should be a little bit higher than that, and it is. And then let's think about what's going on with the sodium ion. We started with 0.65 molar, and we added 2.24 molar. Can you see that the concentration has to be somewhere in between the two? Not only that, because there's more of the highly concentrated and less of the less concentrated, the final concentration should be closer to 2.24 than it is to 0 0.65, and it is. So, that answer makes sense, too. It's good to think it through, do some estimation, and make sure that you're good at what you have here. Okay. You are going to have to do that problem as well, so you'd better be ready to do that in an efficient manner. Okay. Hack at it. Good luck.